All right, so a buddy of mine gave me this cast iron Dutch oven. And as you can see, it's pretty rusty. It was sitting outside for a long time. You can even pick it up by the lid. Uh, and so it's all rusted. We need to clean that up, re-season it to uh, get it ready for our camping season. So the first thing, we need to get this lid off. Now I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping by using just a little cold chisel in the thing with a little smack of a hammer, that'll just kind of free itself up. So we're gonna give this a shot. Yeah, and that just pried right up, so that's good. It's a little afraid I was gonna break it. And so we got our lid off, and it's full of grease and sludge. So I'm gonna go get a uh, bucket to put that in so I can get rid of that, and then we'll move on to our next step of getting this thing ready. All right, so I got all the grease and stuff uh, kind of pulled out and dumped out and scraped out. Uh, so now I am going to wash this thing in water first uh, to try to get all these salads and stuff off of here. It's already real rusty, so it's not really going to matter uh, if it you know gets watery and, and whatnot. But so I'm going to give this a good wash, and then we'll come back and we'll start removing the rust. All right, so we got it all cleaned out. Uh, Use some water and uh, a little bit of soap, and and just tried to wash off as much as I could. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. You know, down here is not too rusty. I guess where that grease was kind of protected it. Yeah, but the sides and the outside are pretty bad. So uh, what we're gonna do to start dissolving that rust is we're gonna put this thing in a bucket, slide it in there, and we're gonna use just regular old Now we're gonna use regular old vinegar. So we're gonna take the vinegar and we're just gonna pour it in. So the vinegar will start reacting with that rust. It'll start cleaning the metal. It'll loosen the rust so that we can actually get it somewhat clean. So I'm just gonna pour this whole gallon in here. So that can sit inside the vinegar and I'm gonna leave it in there for uh, probably for a day or two, and then we'll get to start uh, brushing off that rust and be on our way to cleaning it up. All right, so our cast iron Dutch oven's been sitting in uh, vinegar for a couple weeks now. Uh, pretty nasty looking stuff in there, but we're gonna get all the rust knocked off and get the sink seasoned. Uh, so a couple things that we're gonna to use today, you know, some gloves to uh, kind of keep your hands clean. Um, I've got a couple metal brushes. This is a three inch and a two inch, the drill, some uh, safety glasses, and our Dutch oven. So we're gonna grab, let's start with the lid. Here, push that out. Pretty nasty looking. But what basically we're gonna do is take this metal brush and we're going to attack this thing and try to get all the, all the rust knocked off, so. And we can see it. I am gonna put another glove on, get my safety glasses on, and we'll get this thing cleaned up. All right, I also grabbed a, a rag that I'm just gonna kind of grab this thing and just try to wipe off all the all the nastiness. All right, so I'll throw the glasses on here. So we're just going to take our wire brush and we're going to go against it. So you can see it's already kind of cleaning it up a little bit. It's going to be easier. So I'm going to go around. You can see the difference already in just a little bit that I did. You kind of got to go slow. I was going a little faster there than I should. Um, but I mean, just look at the difference. That's nice and shiny. We got all the rust here. So I'm going to work on this a little bit and we will check in with you. Uh, this is a little progress. I've been at it for about 10, 15 minutes. I did put a clamp on here because the lid was kind of flopping around on me. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it, it looks great. It's uh, polishing up nice. On the inside, I'm having some trouble around the rim. So you can kind of see that in here. Uh, so around here. And so I'm going to keep working at it and we will see how it all comes out. Um, the vinegar, I think, did a great job of loosening it all. It's just these little crevices are kind of hard to get into. So uh, we're going we're gonna to keep going and uh, we'll check in. 
All right, so I got the lid basically done. Uh, it's looking pretty good. There's still a little bit underneath there, but I'll get some uh, sandpaper and kind of sand that off. You can see that I got heavy coating here. I was having a hard time getting that off. So I'm just gonna leave it and uh, hopefully that'll kind of blend in when we're done. So with the lid being done, I'm gonna set that off to the side and we're starting on the pot. So I'm gonna need both hands, I think, to get that out of the pot, to get that out of that bucket. So let me get that, dump it, get some of the vinegar out. And here's our pot. So I'm gonna take my rag, wipe it out, and then we'll get to work. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with that. We're gonna take our three inch brush and uh, we're just gonna slowly work it around. It's coming clean fairly easy, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and we'll check in once I get a little further. All right, so checking in. Uh, I've been working at this thing for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, it's been, it's been a, a kind of a pain, to be honest with you. It's, uh, but it's coming along. I'm trying to get rid of these like hump areas and whatnot. It's all coming off. You can see all the, all the uh, shavings and stuff that are coming off of it. Um, the outside, I mean, it's looking good. It's getting there. Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep trucking on it and hopefully have it done soon and then we'll get it inside for uh, a fresh coat of seasoning. All right, so we've been at it for uh, almost an hour now, um, just brushing, brushing, brushing. I think I got as much as I can get off. Uh, all the rust is off. I was having some trouble getting some of these bubbling parts off. I'm afraid if I let's say use an angle grinder, it's just not gonna get there. So we're gonna give it a go as it is. Um, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna get the oven preheated to 350. And while it's preheating, I am gonna give these a good wash, soap and water uh, before seasoning, just to make sure uh, I get everything off. Soap and water is fine when it's unseasoned. So we're gonna uh, basically, you know, all the season stripped off. So soap and water, get it all great and nice and clean, and then we'll start getting it seasoned. All right, so I'm in my laundry room in the laundry tub. Um, so I'm gonna give these a good wash. I'm just gonna use, you know, or basically our, um, what we use to wash our dishes. Uh, it's just got a little bit of Dawn soap in it, a little bit of brush. We're gonna clean it, then I'm gonna dry it off and I'm gonna stick it in the oven. Uh, the oven's preheating, so I'm gonna put it in there just to wick off any extra um, moisture that's on it after I dry it. And then uh, let's put it in there for a few minutes. It'll warm up, that water will evaporate, and then we'll take it out. We'll coat it with some oil and we'll stick it in for about an hour. We'll do that a couple times. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it washed and uh, stick it in the oven. All right, so the pots are all washed. Um, I'm putting them in the oven while it preheats so that uh, you can see like that water on there will dry up and evaporate. We want these completely dry when we put the seasoning on there, uh, put the oil on there. So I'm gonna close this oven. It'll take, uh, I don't know, another 10 minutes to get up to 350. Uh, you can see I put foil on the bottom uh, because after we Coated with oil, some oil, uh, oil might drip, and if it drips, I don't want to hit the burner, so I put that foil there to prevent that. All right, the oven's at 350. Um, these are, you know, basically dry. So we're gonna take them out. You know, they're hot. I like the oven glove. It's awesome. You get one. You get one already. All right, so now we're gonna coat these things with oil. So I'm just gonna use basic vegetable oil. I'm gonna pour some in and all I ever do is take a paper towel just a regular paper towel and just get it all coated so you don't want puddles in there you don't want a lot of access use that and you just give a thin nice thin coat over all surfaces so just make sure you get 100% coverage of a thin coat all right now that we got a coat on everything on the oven I'm gonna come down here, put them in. Just like they were. The pots, you normally do them upside down so that the oil doesn't pool in the bottom. But now that those are in there, we're gonna set a timer for an hour and uh, we'll put another coat on. All right, so we're two coats in. We have one more coat to go. So we're gonna take them out. We'll do another coat. We'll put it in for another hour and we'll be, we'll be done. All right, we've done three coats of the oil on the uh, Dutch oven, so we're gonna 
I turn the oven off. We're gonna let it sit and uh, all cool down together. And then I'll take them out and show you the final result. All right, so it's the next morning. Uh, it's going through three coats of seasoning. Uh, we put the oil on it, baked it for an hour, did that three times. Uh, it's looking really good. Uh, it's nice and clean on the inside. It's uh, nice and seasoned. Uh, we don't have any visible rust or anything anymore. And uh, yeah, it, it looks it looks good. It came out came out better than I, I thought it would. Um, took uh, took about two three hours I think of uh, removing the rust and and whatnot, but uh, well worth it. Uh, it was a free pot that was sitting outside that was just rusted all the all the heck. Um, so looking forward to using it this season. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment sections. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe and you'll see more videos. Thanks.